we can now apply our conservation of energy ideas to the ball on the loop. So if I release it from here, probably not going to make it. No, but if I release it from way up here, I think it's got a chance. There it goes. So now let's calculate how high we need to release it from so it'll make the loop. Let's see, so we draw our loop, something like this, like that. And we want to know how high to put it here so it'll make it around the, around the loop of radius r there. So you might look at it at first and say, well, let's see, I know what's going on. I would say it needs to be here, right? The same height, it'll be one guess. But you gotta keep in mind, we don't just need it to get up here, we need it to stay on the track. And to stay on the track, it has to be going a certain speed. We don't wanna just get the ball this high, we wanna actually get it to make the entire loop. So you may recall, thinking back, we need a minimum speed back on the circular motion part. V equals the square root of G times R. Remember, that was the speed it took, over hill and under hill, to, to stay on the track. Square root of G R. So when we get here, that's the speed we need to be going. So where would we start up here? What height up here? Um, y initial, and would end up at a height here, y final, and end up with a kinetic energy that's equivalent to having square root of g times r. Well, all we got to do is apply delta k plus delta u equals uh, zero. Delta k plus delta u equals zero. Let's see, the uh, final kinetic energy has to be one half m v squared, right? One half m, and the square root of gr squared is just gr, so I'll write gravi gravitational constant times r, or acceleration due to gravity times r. And uh, minus the initial kinetic energy is zero, so I'm going to release it from rest, all right? And let's see, the final uh, gravitational potential energy is mg times 2r plus final mg2r minus um, initial, which is mg and then the height we're looking for, yi, uh, minus mgy initial equals zero, like that. All right, then we just do a little bit of algebra and we see if we can solve for this height here. Let's see, mass is in every term. Mass goes away, very nice. And uh, let's see, so we've got, I need to solve for yi. G is in every term. I knew something else was going to go away. G cancels. So we have 1 half r plus uh, 2r minus y initial equals 0. So right away you see that y is um, uh, 3 halves r, or is 5 halves r. yi is 5 over 2. Or you could think of it as it's 2r, the diameter of the circle, and it's another half of r above, above the top. So according to that, if we release it from that height, it should just barely make it around the loop. So let's see if that height works. Let's see, we get it back out. Here's the ball. Now I've marked it off. You gotta kinda consider the position of the center of mass of the ball here and here. That's the circle, and then another radius up is about here. All right, so let's let that go. And look at that, not even close to making it around. Hmm, what is wrong with the conservation of energy? Nothing is wrong with the conservation of energy. There might just be other forms of energy. So I'll let you think about what else might be going on here. If you can't get it, don't worry about it. I'll give you one hint. We'll reveal it in the second part of the class.